Schiff. channel in today's video we'll be doing a review of the Wonder Woman life-size bus from Queen Studio um, we've actually had this bus for quite some time so the unboxing did happen a long time ago um, so today we'll be going through the review so as just mentioned this particular Wonder Woman life-size bust is from Queen Studio they are one of the first pioneers if not the first to introduce silicon life-size busts in China in 2018 the first silicon life-size bust was Loki from Avengers Infinity War from the MCU movie franchise and it's now one of the biggest brands in the high-end collectible market. The first DC life-size bust was Wonder Woman designed by Oliver Liu and the first prototype was revealed to the public in Queen Studios 2019 Shanghai Wonderfest. Uh, fun fact, the initial prototype was far from perfect when it was revealed at that time. Uh, thankfully, Queen Studio took on feedback from multiple fans, they reworked on the sculpt, and the end product is far better and arguably one of the best life-size Wonder Woman busts in the market. Um, this particular one was scheduled to be released in 2020. Unfortunately, it was delayed by about a year or so due to the ongoing global pandemic, which we are still in the middle of. Um, so the waiting game was not fun, but it was definitely worth the wait in the end and it just made it that much better when it was finally released. If there's anybody out there who is watching who is still waiting on this particular life-size bust, um, do be patient. It is definitely worth the wait when you do get it um, and I hope that makes the wait a little bit more bearable. So Queen Studios Wonder Woman is a life-size one-to-one scale bust. The dimensions are 56 centimeters wide, 46 centimeters deep and 69 centimeters high. Gal Gadot's first Wonder Woman cinematic appearance was in 2016's Batman vs Superman movie. However, this particular bust is from her first solo Wonder Woman movie in 2017. We know this because despite her costume being the same in the movies, there's a clear distinction with her shield, which you can see behind me here, particularly in the rim. That's how we know it's from the 2017 Wonder Woman movie. Um, it's a limited edition statue. There's only 500 of these worldwide. Uh, at the time that we bought it two years ago, total cost came to $5,500 Australian and that included freight and tax uh, and that was two years ago. And when it arrived, it came in one big box. starting with the head of Wonder Woman. The material is platinum medical grade silicon, which is resistant to UV and extreme temperatures. This is a good thing because there's virtually no shrinkage and it allows for a longer lifespan. Wonder Woman's hair, which also includes her eyebrows and her eyelashes, have been made with over 100,000 high temperature fibers, which have been manually hand punched. And you can see each individual hair here in this model. I do note that the character in the movies has black hair, whereas this life-size bust has brown hair. The, the black strands are only a highlight. Her eyes are made from glass and they're made in accordance with the movie design. 
The color is brown, just like the character in the movie. Um, I do note that there's some immense detail here. You've got some subtle eyeliner at the top in terms of makeup and the detail in the eyes is to a very high standard. You can even see the capillaries in the whites of her eyes. I note the eyebrows look very realistic and they're well sculpted. The eyelashes are very long and very dark. The nose is a very realistic feature of the face. If you look close enough, you've got lots of tiny, tiny pores, which makes it look very realistic, but it's otherwise blemish free. Similarly with the lips, you've got the details in terms of the, the lines going down her lips. You've got that nice natural blush pink color and you have teeth that do look realistic in terms of the color. They're sort of an ivory color. However, I do note overall the teeth look quite dry and it's lacking that sort of glossy look that teeth would have in real life. So the face, or particularly the skin on the face of this bust is also very realistic. You've got not only a nice realistic skin color, but you also have some different sort of shades there to create a bit more texture. Um, you've got quite a blemish free face aside from um, one freckle on the left and then you have a few on the right. And I think the amazing thing about these freckles here is that they match the character in the movie. So there's great attention to detail placed there. Similarly, the ears, very real looking. We have um, almost what looks like a bit of a, a shiny or a waxy effect on the inside. And you've got some tiny pores with a little shade of red, which creates some real realism there with the ears. Moving on to the star tiara. As you can see here, we've got metallic gold paint. Great attention to detail. You can see some very fine sort of battle marks on the tiara. And I do note as well, it doesn't appear to be just one shade of metallic gold, it's different shades and that creates a lot of depth with the tiara. The body of Wonder Woman is made from the same material as the face. Uh, the skin is one continuous feature from the head down. And I do note great attention to detail with the collarbone. It's got a really nice structure and a lot of depth and it gives it a sense of realism here. The arms are two separate pieces that pull apart and the hands within the arms are also made of silicon, just like the rest of the body. Moving on now to the finer details. As you can see, the arm pulls out here. We've got some very realistic looking hands with the crinkles of each knuckle included. I do note the nails look realistic. You've got some realistic looking leather bands, which are the same as in the movie. And I note even the attention to detail with the skin, which is made of silicon going down here. You've got the bracelet of submission, which is made of resin. You've got metallic gold and silver paint. And I note that there are many fine battle details from the movie. Wonder Woman's armband is the same material and design as her star tiara. So we've got metallic gold with some nice texture there with the lines. She's also got a leather shield strap which appears to be attached to the base. And that makes it look as though she's holding her shield, even though the shield itself comes as a separate part. So the armor of Wonder Woman is very much like that that we see in the movies. You have some battle damage marks here, which aren't just painted on, there's actually some grooves to depict them. Um, there's a fine level of detail here using line, but also different shades or gradients of red to give it a real sort of depth to it. And the metallic gold also has some different shades, almost to give it a natural sort of weathered look. The body transitions really nicely into the base. And I do note that while Wonder Woman's blue skirt isn't a specific feature of this bust, the shape and colors of the base do still resemble that blue skirt. So you can tell that the designers put a lot of thought into that transition from body to base. The base actually has some of the most intricate details in the whole piece. You've got um, some textured engravings with swirls and almost floral kind of shapes. And that's in this gray bluey area here. And further up the top, you've got even smaller, just as intricate details in gold. There are five swirls and ribbons going around the base. Um, these swirls and ribbons are inspired by the escape scene from the 2017 Wonder Woman movie where Diana went on to steal the God Killer sword. 
all in gold, all with that diamond detail there. Um, but we do give warning here to be gentle with assembling this part of the bust because they are very fragile. Moving on to the shield now, this one does come with the Wonder Woman bust. Uh, this particular shield, as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, is from the 2017 Wonder Woman movie. It's made from polystone. There is an option to purchase the shield on its own in either a metal or polystone version. The metal version was about $1,000 AUD and the polystone version is about $500. Um, if you're just wanting the bust by itself, probably no need to purchase it. However, if you do want to buy the shield separately, it might be good for cosplay or costumes and those kinds of things. The base of the shield has similar levels of detail to the base of the bust. You've got here a similar theme in terms of the swirly, intricate engravings compared to the base. Um, and this part here resembles an eagle head. What I like about the shield is you've got battle marks in the form of dents all the way around the shield. We've got similar to the finish on the armor, you've got some metallic gold paint and some nice detail that's being used with lines and depth to create that real likeness similar to the movie. This is what the shield looks like on the other side. It is wearable if you would like to use that for your own costumes or anything along those lines. Um, this one is quite light. This is the polystone shield, definitely lighter than the metal version. So in reviewing this life-size bust, we found many pros. First one being the likeness of character to that of the movie. If I had to give it a percentage, I would say that this bust is 95% accurate, which is fantastic. Um, this particular bust includes the arms, unlike Queen Studios' typical life-size bust, which include only the head and the chest piece. Uh, we also like the iconic, powerful cross-arm pose with the bracelet of submission as a main feature. Makes for a very powerful sort of statement piece. Uh, moving on to the, the smaller pros, this bust comes with a glass certificate holder. Not all of them do. We've also got some gloves and we have a brush. And it's the smaller details like this which mean a lot because that sort of indicates the thoughtfulness and makes this feel like a complete package. Generally, it's not ideal to have to spend extra money on these little items when you've already spent so much on a piece like this. So we really like how those were included in this life-size bust. Um, cons, there are a few. The main one appears to be the lack of material in the back and the waist area, which then makes it look unnatural from the side. Um, and that basically means that you can only display it from the front. This was probably done to save manufacturing, um, but that sort of can overshadow the pros and it might prevent this statue from achieving that ideal, perfect work of art status. Other cons include the glue in certain parts, not sticking or not being adhesive enough. Also some minor paint defects. So that um, mixed with the issue with the glue indicates to us that some better quality assurance checks are needed to ensure the perfection of this piece. Comparing a piece like this to the Infinity Studios Wonder Woman life-size bust, I think the main comparison would have to be the lack of material in the back and waist area of this bust, whereas Infinity Studio Wonder Woman bust is a full half torso. So I think Infinity Studios wins in that regard. In terms of the pose, I personally prefer the Queen Studio pose with the cross arms. I find it to be really powerful and just more aesthetic and appealing. Um, this base here is a lot more detailed than the Infinity Studios base, which is quite um, simple in comparison. Um, and this particular bust comes with a shield as opposed to the Infinity Studio bust, which comes with a lasso. So the shield seems to be a bit of a nicer touch. So that's it. That is our review of Queen Studio Wonder Woman bust. We would love to hear your thoughts and feedback, particularly on this Wonder Woman bust from Queen Studio versus the one from Infinity Studio, which is what we just spoke about. Um, Queen Studio releases many life-size busts from MCU, DC and other franchises. Um, we in particular are very excited for the Heath Ledger Police Joker bust. We would love for you to share your thoughts on what you're excited for, for them to release. Um, I guess as a final note, we have a very strong preference to buy busts and for them to release busts that have hands. It's just that added detail that makes it a lot more worthwhile when purchasing those busts. 
Um, but that is it for today for the Wonder Woman Life Size Bust. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, follow the channel for more videos to come. Thanks everyone.